In this video, I'll be explaining to you how to start the Redis server, how to stop the Redis server, how to check the Redis version of the server, testing out the CLI, making sure the CLI is working properly, and then we're going to go ahead and set up a um, in-cached variable. So um, what is the CLI? So the CLI is the command line interface for Redis. So the way we start the server is pretty simple. We're just going to do um, Redis, Redis server, and we're going to do Redis, and then our configuration file. So there, it has started. So now if you want to use the CLI, it's really simple. You just do Redis dash CLI. Now we're in the CLI. We're at 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 at port 6379. So if you want to make sure this is working properly, you, you type in ping and we should get back Pong perfectly. So that is working as we expected. So now let's go ahead and um, try it out. So we're going to say set pine. That's our key. And our value is going to be apple. Hit enter. So now if we do get pine, we should get apple. Perfect. If you want to exit the client anytime, you just simply type in quit. And that gets you out of the client. But now how do you stop it? Simple. You just do kill all Redis server. Enter. Done. Now you just have stopped it. And to start it back again, we're going to go and do Redis server Redis.conf. Done. Now it's running. So if you do Redis dash server dash V, that should give you the version. There it is. So our Redis, our Redis version is 2.8.3. And there you have it. We just learned how to start and stop, check the version, testing out the CLI. We set up some variables using the CLI. Now you're ready to move on to the next part, creating a C-sharp application using Redis.